what what do you think of yourself huh? why are you talking to that to me Kay. why are you talking problem kya what is what's <laughs> wrong with you samne baat kar na no no talk in front of me no no what no, no, talk in front of me look i am from delhi no, 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 you know no, no, who my father is talk in front of me do you know who my father is hey Hey, how are you, brother? <laughs> Hello and welcome. You're watching Crick Buzz Live. I'm Gaurav Kapoor with my dear friends Joy Bhattacharya and Michael Wan. We were doing a little show and tell. We've all been in class four. <laughs> Once I was there for three years, in fact. What we were doing was a show and tell to tell you. This is just how Delhi boys talk. <laughs> This is a term of endearment by saying, "Oh, don't talk to me like that." Is actually a way of addressing somebody with love. People don't understand this. They're just making a big deal out of nothing. Nice try. Don't That's you think? Really nice. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, I'm just saying, Michael, you've I'm sure you've uh, seen some rough parts of the world, right? You have in your travels as a world traveler, as Phileas Fogg of our times. <laughs> you have seen I like it. Some parts of the world, some rough parts of the world. This is how people talk to each other. Yeah, it was just a few handshakes that went wrong. That's it. That's all. Sometimes. That's all. Yeah, I mean, I, the IPL always seems to draw up a lot of uh Moments on the field, there's great catches and hat tricks and hundreds, and then there's the odd little kind of moment <coughs> off the field or just coming off the field. And I will say this: that you know, Virat's a fiery character. Yeah. And on the field last night, you could see was his team were firing. They were defending a low total. It was a fantastic win. RCB right in the contest. Um, I don't mind players having little confrontations. I don't mind that. It's the game. It's you don't want to see it every day, but. I don't like seeing coaches get involved. Good point. I, I don't. I don't see where the coach or any part of the coaching department is involved in the game. What goes on the field stays on the field. If there's a, a little bit of a kerfuffle or a, an argument between two players, well, they sort it out with the players. The coaches, for me, are for in the dugout, in the dressing room, looking after strategies. I don't like to see these fallouts between a coach and a present-day player. Hmm. That's a good perspective. Yeah. See, we're talking serious now. <laughs> no, no, it's exactly my point. I fully and totally agree with him. I mean, we all knew where this started. Yeah. Actually, I've seen this start in 2013. Correct. Many, many, many years back, the yeah. first actual IPL. When both were players. Was, when both were. We players, should add. Yeah. Which was at a different time. Both were players. Both were fiery characters. It happened, and you know, and the, one of the people who separated them was one of our. Uh, Co-panelists, Rajat, Rajat Bhatia. Bhatia. Yeah. So I've, this happens, but exactly that. I think two two things. One was where did this start? This started from the match in Bangalore in the Chinnaswamy, where a famous win was pulled out. You know, chasing 220 for three down. LSG managed it, and then you know one of their coaches made a certain gesture yeah. to the crowd about you know silencing the silence in the crowd. And so when Virat sort of comes out here, he just goes ballistic in the other end. If he's going to do it once, Virat is. The kind of guy who's going to do it five times. And I guess what Virat said afterwards uh, is that don't dish it out if you can't take it back. Oh, absolutely. I think that like yeah. made a lot of sense. And also, I mean, if this is going back to 2000, that's 10 years. It's a long time to hold a grudge. <laughs> if there are grudges, hey, listen, to be Michael, held. we're Delhi boys, man. Yeah, We yeah, can yeah, hold yeah. a grudge. We are Sicilian, you know. Oh, yeah. Four yeah. centuries. I'll say to <laughs> if Gautam is holding a grudge or Virat, I don't think Virat. I, I, I'd say. Get over it! Come on, <laughs> it's a game of cricket. We all love the game of cricket. You, you <coughs> yeah. can't hold a grudge for so long. You can't every time that you see that person, try and outdo that person, or hope that something goes wrong to that person. Um, we're talking about cricket here. Come on. Hey, uh, just just one thing I, I want to add though, because I've heard a lot of cricketers talk about this, and this is a larger point, is that there are some, and, and Michael, as a captain, you'll know this as well, right? About giving lip, about sledging, about having a chat. You do it to some players, and then some players you don't do it to because you realize if you get them fired up, it brings out the best in them. If you make them angry, it brings out the best in them. I've heard that Brian Lara used to be ignored, like you don't talk to him. Steve Waugh, you never talk to him because these guys just kind of get fueled up. Virat Kohli, they say, never don't talk to him, don't make him angry because that brings out the best in him. That's just the kind of guy he we, is. We played Lara in 2000 or 2001 in England, and he was really struggling. Struggling, didn't get a run. Craig White actually, the old round used to bowl him round his legs, and I think Darren Goff had had him a few times. He we went to Manchester. Dominic Court was in the team, and he was batting pre-lunch, and he he couldn't hit it. He was playing and missing. He, he, I think it was about 10 or 15. He edged him to, to to that score, but Dominic Court just before lunch decides to chirp him. Oh no! Starts to give luck, and we were <laughs> like, what? You we walked into the dressing room, and the cameras. We're on Lara. Lara walked straight off the pitch at Old Trafford to the old pavilion, and he turned left, 
And we didn't know this because we'd gone up the stairs to our dressing room, but it was on the cameras. Channel 4 were covering the, the cricket those days. And we noticed that we were just having some lunch and we looked at the... I went, oh, that's interesting. Lara had walked straight off the ground, up the steps, turned left, not gone right into his dressing room. He, walked, he went to his coach and he walked past the dressing room and went in the nets. He spent the whole of the lunch hitting balls in the nets. <laughs> in the afternoon, he smoked us for 140. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what you guys said to Dominic afterwards. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> it's all around Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> you do, to some players, you just don't. It fires them up. Yeah. So Kobe used to have this famous statement, Kobe Bryant. He turned around and he said that, you know, don't shake the tree, a leopard bay fall off. So you oh, know, you've got to be very... You don't do that. Yeah, that's right. And that's what... Uh, by the way, happy birthday, Brian Lara. It's his birthday today. Uh, yep. So happy birthday to uh, the Prince of Trinidad. But yeah. If I was happened. playing against Virat Kohli, I'd find out what he likes, uh, what his favourite tea was, if he drink, if he drinks tea. I'd just deliver it to his uh, dressing room. Yeah. I'd just be lovely to him. Morning, Virat. How are you? How are you? How's it going? How's lovely. the family? Yeah. So can I tell you something You're really good. interesting? What did you eat for breakfast? <laughs> yeah. can I tell would you, you like some breakfast? Yeah. What would you like? Yeah. Wait, I, I just have to add to this. You, there's this fantastic <laughs> story about uh, Saklain Mustak. Okay? And Saklain Mustak uh, playing against... Uh, uh, our friend uh, Sachin Tendulkar, Sachin, the greatest batsman. Sachin is struggling. It's not a great pitch. Sachin is struggling. So, Saklain Mustak actually turns around and uh, he sort of chirps him a little. And Sachin gives this really innocent smile and said, You're such a good man. Why are you talking like this? This is really bad. You know, I don't expect you to talk like this. I didn't expect it of you. And Saklain said, I felt really bad. And, you know, I kept bowling, but it was in my head. And I didn't realize for three overs he'd taken one four off and got totally set. Then in the evening, he realized that actually he's been done in by Sachin Tendulkar. Oh. And he said that, you caught me. And Sachin just smiled at him and said, you know, it's a nice game. <laughs> but that's the way to do it. That's like the way to do it. Like he made him feel so guilty, he couldn't bowl for three overs. I really want to know what Naveen said because he came back and he wanted to say it again and again and again. He was saying a lot of stuff. But at the end of the day, the fact is that Bangalore had a very big win yesterday in Lucknow. And from the time they came into uh, to field, defending that low total, you could see they were on fire in the field. They were really, they were really pumped up. And the way they've defended that score, I think that's going to hurt uh, LSG for a while because now they've had two chases of low scores that uh, they haven't been able to get uh, over the line.